Okay, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to this edition of Rage Print. Uh, this is going to be a little different. Uh, some of the fellow builders are currently at San Diego Comic Con and they posted these pictures in the Facebook group. And what you see on your screen now is the live action chopper that was used in Ahsoka on display. Um, so they've managed to get close. This is the closest photos we've ever had because all the other ones have been on the stage. So we've got some really good detail shots. I can tell you now, Mike Badley is already modifying bits based on these photos. Um, really, the point of this video is to just talk about what I got wrong <laughs> on um, on my build. Uh, bear in mind that I always knew my build was going to be slightly off because uh, it was based on A, modifying the animated chopper, and B, some really blurry photos taken from a long distance enhanced and all this sort of stuff um so that's not to say i won't make some changes to my chopper based upon what i see here uh i'm just restricting what changes i can make because they are now part of the droids it's hard for me to pull some bits off and, and i can live with that uh what i can change easily e yeah. easily is the paintwork and we'll start going through it so as I said, this this is at San Diego Comic Con, so if you're there, you can go see this now. Um, so first of all, we can we can look at the colour scheme of Chopper, and I I originally had this leg. Oh, can you see my mouse? Right, yeah, you can see my mouse now. Um, yeah, so colour scheme wise. Um, yeah, uh, I, I kind of wish I kept the uh, light grey rather than changing it to dark grey. I was fully convinced it was a dark grey uh, for this for this right leg, left leg. Um, but yeah, it turns out it is a light grey. Um, and where, where my mouse cursor is now, uh, it looks lighter than it is. It's actually, this, this is the proper colour here. Uh, that's just the, the light on it. It could even be two-tone. Um, we're, we're debating that even now, about whether that's actually two-tone. Um, and this colour is actually the same as this colour. So what I have got wrong is the skirt is... I need, I need to lighten the skirt up a lot. Uh, it looks like I'm fairly close to the colour here, though, from my, from my previous video. Um, I need to redo these. These I can actually pull off without too much damage and then put new ones on um, and I can design those likewise um, this little nubbin here which we'll have a look at in a minute I can redo so color wise I think I'm going to be repainting the skirt and I think I'll be repainting this leg um, not too much of a pain but uh, so apologies this seems to be out of a, in a weird order but um, battery hoses uh, we were fully convinced they were smooth, and it turns out that's just shower hose. Um, so I'll be changing that for shower hose. Uh, we now know what the, the clips look like, so potentially I could replace that. In fact, it's... yeah, I could replace those with those clips, uh, those little, like uh, inserts there. And going into leg, they, all they've done is just laid it down and probably just stuck a load of hot glue down. Um, yeah, it's a bit odd. But I'll probably just leave mine just because I've done it now. Um, but that that to me feels like it's a bit like we weren't sure what to do there. Uh, likewise, this needs changing. Uh, mine currently just looks like a like like there's a, a cup here, um, but there's all this extra design here. So what I can do is I can probably just slice that off and put a new one on. Um, They've put mesh behind the vents here. I don't think anyone's really going to notice that. Um, I'm not too far from the colour here, though. I, th I think I got that colour right. Yeah, in fact, looking at it now, just turning around looking, it, it's not too far off that I got that right. And uh, even even the ankle as well. Yeah, the ankle I think I got right. So I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, so here's the, the back shot. Now, I'll mention the dome. And we'll get this over with now. I know my dome is more like the animated dome. 
there's so many additional details on here that to be honest i'd have to print a brand new dome and i might do later on but at the moment you know all these panel lines you know massive divots here there's a cut here there's a block here which i could put on to be honest we thought this was a circle it's actually a, an octagon no six one two three four five six. one two three four five six. what's a six-sided one septagon is that a thing anyway um yeah it's not a circle it's a polygon um yeah so the dome you know, i mean even this plate here uh it's not even flat i've got a funny feeling in the show we're going to find that this middle plate rises up or pivots or tilts or something like that um so things we already knew that mike's already done on the, the proper live action chopper is that there's a panel line here or a, a recess panel and we've got clearer shots of uh this little greebly here and this greebly here um but overall it's not too far off uh ignoring the dome uh so interestingly the battery boxes are sort of hung on a screw and then screwed against the foot plate uh, against the foot shell um as somebody pointed out it's probably just stopped being stolen but that looks like it's uh with the weathering that's deliberate uh rather than magnetized so just, you could just put some screws in there to make it look like it likewise it looks like this ankle has a removable panel um with screws in uh they always hex bolts uh is that design again ankle has this kind of uh exposed extruded feature here um and we've got more details on here the, the little diamond patterns uh and this which we thought was circular is a circle but with a again that sort of uh an octagon design inside it uh, so that I can easily replace. I can, again, I can cut. Mine's sitting proud of the battery box. Uh, Mike will be updating the the battery boxes, I'm sure, to have that recessed in and that design. So I said I can slice mine off and put that new optical shape on, just as I can do with the 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 end of the the ankle rod. And yeah, there you go. You can see the the shape there. It's it's a six sided shape rather than a circle. Uh, the colour of the leg, I don't think I'm too far off the colour of the leg, and the fact that that's grey, so I'm quite glad I got that right. And as I said, I think I'm as close as I'm ever going to get with that colour without actually knowing the real shade. So I'm pleased with that. Um, we've got more details here on the the arm, uh, the dome arm uh, doors, and I've been down to these details in here, which we didn't know before. We thought this was kind of plain or recessed um so you can see here you've got the top plate and we go back a bit so here so this is slightly different uh i had it's just three circles it's kind of like a it reminds me of something but i can't think what right now but basically it's just a bar with three three divots in it inside this circle design Again, that's easily replaced. Um, this seems different to the one on the back of the other foot. So, again, that can be sliced off and, and changed and flattened out. Um, these have little divots on here. Uh, so little little knobs on there. A um, bit more definition on the colour scheme and, and the details. And uh, you know, these are got like a little dimple in them so and then we look at the dome you see what i mean about the center of the dome it's not sitting flush uh, that to me looks like this is moved in transit or moved when they'll put it on top of this stand and actually this edge here should actually be resting right up against here so this does something and even the antenna uh, base looks like it's separate from this orange ring so I think this orange ring will do something, whether it's lifting up, dropping down, wobbling. I don't know. But the fact that there's actually a hole there as well. So, I mean, this is completely different. Um, so as I, said, as I said just a few minutes ago, that would mean a new dome. I can redo the antenna, though. Now that we've got better pictures of the antenna. 
uh, essentially it's just a, a ring here and then a bit more detail on the antenna stalk itself otherwise it's pretty much bang on um some other f so fortunately they're not in the order i saved them in so we've got uh it's like a cuts in here i mean that's easy enough i can do you can just get a dremel and cut that in um and these interesting these bits we always thought were flat yeah but they're not they're they're almost holding this um hydraulic strut in so again that's easy to mod the bit i'd already done but in my case i'd have probably have to 3d print a separate bit that gets glued on and painted to create that which isn't a problem for me um likewise this we've got you know we see there's more detail here um and i don't think we're too far off I, I did two squares for the lights but it looks like it's just one lens um and this i hadn't even attempted because I, I knew it looked odd and the photos are just too blurry to gain any uh, to get any detail and even here it's still a bit blurry but it's definitely like a it's almost like a safe um combination lock thing that they've stuck on it's the best way to describe it so uh, I, I can add that on because at the moment mine's just the animated version uh you know which is just a flat greebly i can just stick this on top we've got a better shot of his leg you can see what i mean about the skirt it's it is a different colour from the body, but it's not as dark as I have it. Um, this looks like wood. He might be made out of wood. Interesting. You can see the little screw holes here as well where it's been screwed down. Um, but yeah, we've got better shots of the, the centre caster, so that that can be redesigned. And, and if Mike redesigns it, I'll just use his. Um, and how it joins into the into the bottom of the skirt it's not quite as far forward it's not quite as it's further forward further forward than mm. uh the animated one is where it's more or less here um and we've got better better visibility of this uh greebly here so mike mike is now already designing it. he's already put a post up on facebook saying redesigning that um get away oh, there goes a better shot of that greebly there it looks like maybe like a mine or something or some sort of restraining bolt it's weird it, it reminds me of something um something else so oh yeah um interestingly the lens on this eye is bigger than i expected so i, I could i haven't actually stuck that lens down yet it's still just placed on so i could make a bigger lens um this is slightly different as i mentioned so i can redo that and i can uh put these bolts on onto the the panel and this center eye is a lot bigger it's sitting a lot more a lot further out than the animated version i'm, I'm wondering if it, if it, that's supposed to be an eye that uh, pulls in and out like a camera lens um yeah and we're back to that so e easy fix to make changing these hoses that i made to just normal shower hoses and that's a trip down to b&q do that uh i can remodel those uh, any remodels that i make i'll put into mike's onedrive folder for the live action hybrid bits uh that we did um so they'll go in there um and there's a few other bits on the leg on the feet that i've noticed that i can adjust slightly to put onto my chopper and therefore on anybody else who's done the, the live action hybrid version as well uh realistically i'm going to have to ignore this bit here I, I i i could put it over the ankle but it, it affects the clearance inside the foot shell here um so i, I could add it I'll have a look at that because I'm, I'm probably going to have to take the leg out anyway to repaint the leg. But yeah, easy fix is change this. So apologies to Kev, you were right. It is braided, um, you know, bumpy. And I was convinced it was smooth. So you were right. <laughs> Hands up on that one. Um, yeah, so 
we've got lots of good shots. I mean, th things like this can change over time. I'm a half tempted to get a Dremel on some bits. Um, and the dome, as I said, I'm going to ignore and just replace it at one point. Um, yeah, and I'll be probably be painting that leg again. So yeah, just a quick one, just to show what's been picked up so far at San Diego. Um, and that people have actually got to see the chopper in real life. And uh, yeah, keep stay tuned and we'll, maybe you'll see me doing some more modifications on top of doing R2. And the Proton Pack and everything else I've got in the pipeline. So uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.